1997, we did the first uh, party on Great Wall. When Michael first time tell me his idea, I said, "You're insane. Are you crazy? You know what? what how are we doing? How are we bring the equipment out on the mountain and、uh, how are we bring people to there? You know." He said, "You know, just do it," and did it. You know, make impossible possible. I'm happy I was, you know, in the beginning. I did something, and、uh, not did. We are not doing it for anybody else. We're doing it for ourselves, and we did, and we really enjoyed, and we had the best time. The best moment was the when the sun come out on the Great Wall. That's the highlight of our lives, or in our memory. Beijing is tough, but we're still here. We still try to find some way to fit here. You, 毕竟做这几个行业，包括你当个音乐人什么，其实是很不稳定的，尤其在。我觉得也不不论是在欧洲或者边吧，欧洲其实一样，就是玩音乐其实是一个。在北京呢，现在应该只有两家地下俱乐部，整个中国我觉得总共也应该不超过十家。大部分呢，主流的俱乐部呢，音乐不是最主要的，然后去的人呢，主要的就是想要展现他们有多有钱而已。在工体这个区域呢，其实有很多家俱乐部，但是我觉得，如果你想要听到好音乐，在这个区域的话，灯笼肯定是首选。就是要玩到早上，你你想跳一宿舞以后，然后在一个地下室的环境，可能可能很黑暗，可能空气也不是很好，跳一宿舞，然后你再出来，然后看到那个天亮了，看到日出，那种感觉是特别释放的。嗯、呃，但是基本上白天的话也要睡很久了，就但是星期六，比如说星期五玩完了的话，星期六就继续。继续这样玩，就周末永远都是这样过去的。但是中国人的话是没有办法，就是说星期一要上班的，不像德国人，他们可能要玩到早上，嗯，就是星期日的早上才才回家，或者说星期日早上直接就去上班了。但是中国人不是这样，中国人没有办法，因为上上班上学的压力来说还是挺大的。嗯，在我就是在我很小的时候就开始喜欢音乐，大概上初中吧。初中的时候开始喜欢听音乐，然后呃听电台有一个叫有代的人，估计你们肯定也之前可能采访有人也会提到过他。然后他在电台里面放过呃电子音乐，然后、呃、他说给他影响最大的一部。电影就是《Transporting》，就是拆火车那一部电影。然后后来就根据那个电影，它是出了一个原声，就是电影不是有一个原声的专辑嘛？然后那个我我最开始买的，买的有一张一有一盘打口的磁带，然后就是这个电影原声的那个专辑，里面有一些呃电子音乐。
那时候肯定不会去俱乐部，因为那时候年龄太小了。然后其实那时候北京也有一些了，嗯、呃，但是都是比较可能比较土吧，就不会是那种很国际化的那种。但是国内人玩有自己玩的方式。玩的话，家里人肯定也是会反对的，因为毕竟是一个女孩嘛。然后，而且，呃，家里总会说你不去结婚，你不那个那个不脱还不脱离家庭，你都这么大年龄了，然后你还成天的出去跑去玩，然后会就是就有点不务正业的那意思。他们老年人可能睡得也比较晚嘛，都十一二点才会睡。然后那我就说，那反正等他们睡了以后，我就偷偷跑出来，跑出来，然后玩一宿，玩一宿。大概到四四五点的时候就得回去，因为因为我妈、我爸、我妈都是醒得比较早嘛，五点多钟他们就会醒，所以五点钟再偷偷跑回去。但是其实这种玩的方式，可能有时候也不会特别开心，因为。这样的话，嗯，就是玩的时候心里不会特特别的高兴，就是会会会会担心啊，被他们发现。但我又不希望说被他们发现，因为因为毕竟他们那个不希望我这样嘛。我希望他们不要为我担心这些，但是他肯定不会理解说，嗯，也一定要跑出来玩，是这种情况，他们肯定不会理解理解我的。Family kind of like more like conservative, you know. The, not like you know. The, my mom, my dad really want me to become, you know, follow them. You know, they are from the like,、uh, you know, the government. You know, they want me to go the like kind of like university. You know, then you know the find the like like. Real job for them,、uh, you know. They say the real job is this. Right now, they still think、uh, it's my job. It's not real job. So I run the club. I do the techno music. You know, I'm DJ. So the pretty different. Yeah. So your job is、uh, stable or not that stable? <laughs> this kind of questions, <laughs> you know. Yeah. I yes, this question so far for me is still awkward. I don't know how to answer them. You know,、so、actually, my parents really want to, you know, check out here. You know, they they really want to to say the what I do right now. But I always tell them, you know, the wait a little bit, <laughs> future, future, future. Why is the future? Because I think I really know them personality. You know, the if they come here, you know, they say like is、uh, you, you, you know concrete. War and、uh, you know the, this definitely ask me the, this like a decorate already, you know I don't know how to answer them. <laughs> 
we're still in the, the proper socialism environment, people are actually very uh, friendly, you know, very warm to each other. There are no gap between rich and poor. There are, you know, it's maybe looks horrible like North Korea or maybe East Germany, but um, people are quite happy to each other. You know, like I still remember when I was like three, four years old. Every night I go out in our uh, yard because all the people working in the same company living in the same uh, yard. So every night we go out and we talk to, talk to each other about the stories, counting stars in the sky. So we have proper community life. But thinking about the kids now, they live in skyscrapers. They never know who are living beside them. There is no history of being a proper neighbor even. You know, you close the door, go to work. He closes the door to go party. You know, you, you, I mean, you live in the same building, but, but you maybe never talk to each other for 30 years. And the people uh, only have a community feeling when they show off in the clubs, when they hang out with girls. They think, this is my community. I think the new rich um, generation, we call it second rich generation, um, they are uh, mostly going to clubs to show off. You know, I, I can have pretty girls to be with me, I can open 20 bottles of champagne. It's, it's not really for dancing. I think it's not even for music. The good example is the mix club in Beijing. Because they are smart to mix people together. You know, they allow people like to dance coming to fill the floor, uh, make it look good. And then they sell the tables to the people who don't like to dance, but open a lot of bottles. It, it still looks like a dance club. But if you go to most of the other steel commercial clubs, it's just full of tables. There are, there are even no any floors. Especially new generation, you know, from like a late 80s or early 90s. They grew up in this new century. I don't even think their, their, their parents get a proper educated with the real Chinese culture. The main reason is, I would say, it's cultural revolution. The Cultural Revolution killed the proper good Chinese culture. In the 60s until like 70s, only one kind of culture was allowed. So basically that was another time that buried creation. But now the whole environment of the city, of the whole country maybe, or at least most of it, it's about being famous, it's about playing power game, it's about making money in the end. In the past, there was this religion, people want to get related to a spirit. But now, what are they trying to get connected to? Except getting drunk or taking some girls home. Now is the city grows so fast, you know, the, if you want to run the space, it's really, really expensive. I think for this kind of concept, it's difficult, really difficult. project called the Underground Disco Project. So we go like uh, Chengdu, Chongqing, Kunming, you know, the, the cities. We know there's so many friends, you know, that we play together, we do the rave party. It's really interesting. Now we are on the mountain, Tiesan Ping. Yeah, we are going to the party. 
Usually, the first um, group to find is the place where we play. And the second, second group take the equipment, like um, the mixer, to the place. And the third, and even more group comes here, take water, <laughs> food, and any other we want. Why? Why? We make some wild party, like uh, one or two party in Chongqing. And uh, summertime, maybe more, more. Uh, every weekend, we can go outside, find a uh, cool place, nobody quiet, and uh, yeah, we can make a party. <laughs> In China now, everybody, few people like music. Everybody work, work, make money every day. So, uh, yeah, some few people don't care about work. Uh, but uh, very few, I think, like uh, just a star in China. First time I still remember I went there as so well. I think it's a super amazing in Beijing. We don't have this kind of environment. You know, the Beijing is a big city outside. It's a mountains really far from the cities. I went to the, the party in Chongqing. Xiaoyang told me he just want to play the, you know, the music they like and some of the people, you know, the just people go out. It's not sitting to the computer, you know, now it's China, everybody, you know, just play the computer game, you know, maybe the Weibo, like Chinese Twitter things, use the mobile phone all the time. For him, he thinks uh, no communication. He, he really want to, you know, the people go out into the nature, you know, the people can talk to each other. For beginning, I thought that they just, uh, you know, people, they, they don't know about this music. But right now, the, like five years later, they much more understand this kind of music, you know. They know what is quality now. A lot of DJs right now do the tour, you know, in that area, make, you know, the, the education kind of, you know, the people start to understand. I can feel the thing grow the bigger and the bigger. I think the rave party, our techno, like the, the things actually is in Southwest part.
This is a very rapid villa. Actually, we opened this year, uh, February 2nd. Yeah. It's a new summer club, you know. Actually, I found this uh, style in Berlin. Four or five years ago, I went to Berlin with uh, my friend Gianni Vitiello. He's like the hero, techno hero in Berlin. You know, he said, oh, he brought me the bar 25. Or so. I was shocked. It's, the, like the daytime, so many people, they're uh, relaxed and uh, listen to house music, you know. I think, oh, it's really fun, yeah. I really want to do this kind of concept in China because we don't have it. You know, in China, we just have the nightclub. No one do like the, you know, the dance music in daytime, you know. I think, oh, it's a good idea. One day, the, I have the friend in Chengdu, you know, he, she called me, she said, oh, I, right now she found a, a space just next to the river and also she said it's quite uh, good, uh, like a rental. The first time I saw this space, I think, oh, super amazing, this is my dream. Okay, let's take it. <laughs> My family just have two tape, just two tape, two, two tape when I was young. Because you don't know, there is, you cannot buy own buy no nothing, nothing. Beatles, Bob Marley, uh, jazz, no, there, no. At that time, uh, Chinese government said this sound is. By the sound because it's from west. Went to Wuhan. Uh, I changed everything, <laughs> and I began because Wuhan there are some punk. You know, Wuhan is Chinese punk town, and I began to uh, play punk punk music. At that time, I don't know music. I just know what is uh, punk uh, angry. Angry. <laughs> Why I play punk? So I, I must against my family. I must, I must uh, do myself. I must go to a freedom. But now I am not freedom. <laughs> In China, you must choose a lifestyle uh, because when we are grew up. I'm not 20, uh, 80 or 20 or 25. Uh, we must uh, do something for family, so I choose marry, I choose to make beer, but uh, in my heart, uh, music is my dream, music is the best thing. Why we make techno music? Why we play music? Because the soul is same. I think all of the world, all of the people like reason, like love, like communication with other people, like dance together. Techno is not music, I think. Techno is uh, when the people together and find the uh, same groove. What is techno music? Techno music is nothing. Techno feeling is, is the best. I 
I do this like 15 years, I always taught the people, some people you know, like uh, ask me the question, why you do the techno music? I always tell them, oh, you know, the techno is, uh, is uh, into my body already, it's uh, like my language. But uh, just talk about it, I really want to find why, you know, the, it's my language, it's into the, my body, I just to find the so why, you know, that's why. So I went to here, you know, I go here to do these kind of things. Even the sound party is really, really small. In the beginning, it was like a, a village has uh, electricity in one night. So everybody was so happy, but uh, what's going on, you know, what you use the electricity to make something new. Everybody think uh, uh, the China should have uh, the Chinese sound of electronic music. But I think in the, in, you know, in the beginning, you need to first to learn what it is and uh, what it was. And you, when you know it, then you can, you know, bring your own element into it and create something new. But you need to understanding it first. Like you guys said, there's no root of culture. There's no root of electronic music culture, there's no root of rock and roll pop culture, there's no root of um, Chinese traditional culture, because it's really kind of forgotten in this era now in China. So until the 80s, when China opened up, suddenly all these new things like rock and roll, electronic music, pop, whatever kind of music or cultural film just flood into China. And people were like, people just started to follow them up because it's really something new for them. After a hundred years of, almost a hundred years of nothing. So like electronic music, techno is not, you, you hear the sound today, it's not only today, it's been a long way. So you need to discover where it was, you know, from. The listening experience in China is not really wide, but you should uh, know more about the, the music, the background, the history, you know, you should know at least all the DJs should listen to 80s, like a Depeche Mode or Yazoo or Kraftwerk. beginning we played back and uh, we all of us like um, the beat generation and uh, one of the one of the things about beat generation is uh, to go everywhere to see and see everything. The loss is a bad word. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we can translate in Chinese. Uh, in Chinese, uh, bad words and uh, our lyrics is something about uh, uh, the strange, the strange love and uh, some strange things. Uh, yeah.
Mm, he wrote all the lyrics. Yeah. Yes, because it's a very abnormal. Yes. <laughs> I can't do that. Yes. The lyrics, all of the lyrics are about uh, uh, the science fiction yes. uh, and uh, the B movie and uh, some bad movie. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I can uh, um, come up uh, uh, a scene to him and he wrote the lyrics. In, in our uh, lyrics there's uh, no uh, scene about love, um, government, right, no. We just uh, talk about uh, the, the weird story to people, uh, kinds of monsters, ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about him, and my mom always told me, say you love me. <laughs> and I love you, mom. Ah, oh, that's good, baby. Yes, <laughs> from uh, even I, uh, a little girl. Yes, I think I learn, I learn um, lots of um, emotion things, and I learn what's the love uh, that from my mom. This is a very. Um, uh, important influence for me. It's nice things. Yes. I I always talk with my mom. Yes. I always share my problem with my mom. And I I don't know, is that normal in, in China? Is that normal? No. <laughs> because you, my mom is a nurse. It's a nurse of the army. Uh, she is a captain of the Chinese soldier. Yeah, but uh, she told me some uh, the boy should uh, uh, sh uh, shouldn't uh, express more of his uh, emotion to the people around him because um, and it's uh, easy to let the other people find the weak side <laughs> of, of him and. Uh, uh, I won't uh, share some uh, emotion with other people, but music is uh, a door to share the emotion to the to the other play other people. So if one people keep uh, silent, keep uh, you know, don't uh, uh, doesn't share some emotion to the other people, the, these people will go mad. So the music is a, is a good way to share with the people. But uh, in the normal life, I want to share some emotion with other people. at the beginning is a post-punk band and post-punk um, a little bit uh, similar as um, new wave so when we're beginning to listen new wave we, we have to listen to some simple songs so we didn't choose the elect electronic music like techno tech house we 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 choose uh, uh, add lyrics uh, to add our mind in the in the music, I don't want just like people dance with our music 
when they dance, they can um, hear, uh, they can hear the lyrics of the song. They can um, think about lots of things during the song, not only just dance. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Stage. If you want, if you like drum and bass music, you can go to the drum and bass stage. If you want, if you lo if you love techno or techno house, you can you can you can go the the main stage, and lots of uh, techno stars, uh, famous DJs from all the world will show you amazing music in the day. Looking at those, you know, electronic music festivals overseas, especially those European ones, you know, like especially like, you know, like Love Parade and those music festivals, and we're like, is it really possible to make a music festival like that happen in China? You know, the authority, of course, that's that's one problem, and another problem is like, do we really have an audience? Like that in China, do we really have that many people in China who understand electronic music, who actually listen to electronic music, who actually love it, like you know those people in Europe or like me? But then you know, if you don't give it a try, you'll never find the answers. I think, like, why we have this festival called Intro. Intro means the beginning. So, we think when we were doing this music festival, it was the beginning of the beginning. We always wanted to have a lot of people who understand music, who understand the 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 music,
这种感觉，就像你刚才说的，有新的人进来参加这样的音乐节，然后通过这种方式了解了解这个文化，这是这是我们当时做这个，就这个音乐节的名字就是这个意思。Fans in China who don't know they are actually electronic music fans, like myself. You know, before I was introduced to techno through a DJ friend, I didn't even know that actually I love techno. 